Hey guys, this is Darko. In this video, I'll show you WebOS 6.0 on LG's C1 OLED TV, which you see right next to me. I'll show you this new home menu, which is the biggest change to WebOS platform since the initial release. I'll show you settings, connectivity, and give you a feel of what to expect from this platform. So if you're interested, keep watching this video. The biggest change in WebOS 6 is this home menu. As you can see, it occupies the entire screen and it contains a lot of information. In the first row you have weather, uh, then some notifications and advertisement, and search box. Then you have trending now, app list, uh, different inputs, including home dashboard, frequently viewed programs, and then from different apps, you will see recommended content, Apple TV, ITV Hub, all four, BBC iPlayer, and so on. Once you're at the end, you have this icon so that you can go quickly back to the top. You cannot change the order of, or the amount of information on this screen. The only thing you can change is right here in the app list. So these apps you can arrange as you like. And you can do it in two ways, just like before. Long press OK button and then you're in this edit app list mode. And then you can move the apps or you can uninstall the apps with this little bin icon. Or you can even enable intelligent edit. What's interesting about trending now and app list is that this can also appear when you turn on the TV from standby. So let's turn off the TV straight away. Wait for a few moments until we see status LED turned red. Okay, now let's turn it back on. And if we wait a few moments, we will see something. Trending now and app list appearing straight away. So without that full screen home menu, you will see recommended content, what is trending right now, and also app list that you arranged previously. Now, if you don't want to see this app list appearing, then you need to go to settings. And we can do it straight away because last box is settings. And right now I'm in this game optimizer, so I have this small menu here. But if I click all settings, I will go to the settings menu. And here, let's see, general, system, additional settings, home settings. And here you have home auto launch. So you can disable it right here. Now let me show you the speed of WebOS 6. I'll open different tabs and you'll see how fast it is. So let's start with YouTube. So you see, video is playing. Now let's open Netflix using this quick launch button. So we're right here. You see, it's working fine. Then let's open Prime Video. Browse videos, you see it's responding straight away. Okay. Then let's open Disney Plus, even though it's not available here in Croatia, but this is only speed demonstration. Then let's go to home menu and open uh, home dashboard, where you have different inputs and you can change name of HDMI inputs and so on. Okay, let's go back to Netflix. Let's go back to YouTube. I think I have it on quick launch one. So long press one and we're in YouTube. Let's see what I have on H uh, quick access to. It's HDMI one. Let's see HDMI uh, uh, this button three. So we have art gallery. What is number four? It's media player. So let's open one image here and uh, yeah, let's open record and TV. Ah, it needs to be updated, okay, but also demonstration. So it will automatically update the app once you press this 
shortcut buttons or you open it in the home menu. And you see it's quite fast. So again, home menu, let's go uh, to apps. So here you can install different apps from this app market. It's quickly loading. Let's install LG channels, for example. Install, you need to log in to install. Do you want to log in? Okay, uh, let me install something else. Install. Okay, I need to log in. Then let's see if I can do it quickly. You have three different options to log in. Okay, I will not do it right now, but you get an idea. It's quite fast, it's responsive. Also, coming from standby takes only a few seconds. And overall, I'm quite satisfied with speed and stability of WebOS 6. To add apps to the quick launch, so those one to eight numbers on the remote, you need step number one, open the app you want. For example, BBC iPlayer. And now you need to long press any of those buttons. Let's use number seven. So long press and you will see. Do you want to add BBC iPlayer to quick access seven? If I click OK, you will see this small window showing. So already connected apps to certain inputs. And then if I long press nine or long press zero, to be more correct, I will come back to this quick access. So you see under number seven, I have BBC player. I can remove it from here and I see which spots are free. So here I can add some app from the list. And this is another way to build this quick access menu, which is very handy. I use it all the time on my TV. For more information, you have this help section. And what is also good if you go to settings, to any window in settings, for example, let's go to sound. You have this question mark. If you click on it, you will see help related to that menu, which is great. So select mode and you will see the explanation. The only thing you need to pay attention is that this is general uh, help for all LG TVs. So some functions may not be available on your unit. Sound quality is quite good of built-in speakers, but you can also connect external speakers. For example, I'll use this JBL Clip 4. And to do that, let's go to all settings. I'll long press gear button on the remote, go to sound, sound out. And here you have different options. I'll go use wireless speaker, Bluetooth device. I'll click here on the right and now I need to turn on this device and set it to pairing mode. And here you see it, JBL Clip 4 connecting. So either using remote or on the speaker itself, you can adjust and it sounds quite good and the connection is stable. And then of course you can go back here and say use TV speaker and you are back to this built-in speaker with its sound level and you can turn off this one. So as you saw, you can quite effectively control all the apps and navigate through WebOS 6 using supplied remote control, especially using Magic Remote. But you can also use LG's Think app to control the TV. So here you can choose different 
inputs. Let's go to live TV, for example. Let's adjust volume up or down. Let's bring home menu back. And as you can see, you can also use pointer. If you don't want to use this app, you can connect mouse or keyboard using USB or wireless connectivity. And in addition to those devices, you can also connect game pads. To do that, you need to go to all settings. So I'll long press this gear button. And now if we go to general devices, external devices, you will see how many game pads, how many keyboards and how many mice you have connected. And here you have different options here. Of course, you can also delete connection history if you prefer that. You can also use voice assistants. Actually, there are three available and supported. First one is LG's Think, uh, then Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So this one at the center is from LG's Think. Open Netflix. Open web browser. I'm open web browser app. And you see it's working quite well. Then Alexa. Open YouTube. And here we are. Excellent. You can also change the name of HDMI inputs and you do that in home dashboard. The quickest way to open home dashboard is to long press input button on the remote and you will be in this menu. Alternatively, you can use home menu or short press input button and select home dashboard icon. Here you need to go to three dots, edit and edit inputs and here you can change the icon and the name of any of four available HDMI inputs. So for example, here you see different options. And for PC usage to get full color resolution, so the best sharpness, use PC icon and PC name. And that's it. And guys, that was all for this video. As you see, WebOS 6 looks quite different compared to the previous versions. I'm not a big fan of this full screen approach. I think that it's too complicated. There are too many icons, too many uh, folders and apps on one screen. I prefer previous version. However, in terms of speed, stability and different options and different ways to access apps, it's, it's great. So remote, this menu, uh, quick access buttons. And from that aspect, it's really good. Now, as I need to stop filming right now and pack the TV because I'm returning it early tomorrow, I'll reset it to initial settings. And to do that, let's go to all settings. Now let's go to general and here in system reset to initial settings let me enter my password important resetting will delete all of your account settings and installed apps this action cannot be undone do you want to continue okay and with that i would like to say thank you very much for watching and if you have some tips some questions some some suggestions how other people could improve their webOS experience let me know in the comment section i will read it i will answer as many questions and comments uh, as i'm able to do and i'll see you guys in the next video bye